guys! So last week I posted a video showing you my at home mini or kitchen mini office or mini kitchen office. Which way did I put it? I don't remember. Well, I'd have, either way, uh, kind of how I keep a mini office of sorts in my kitchen for sake of convenience, um, but also in a neat, to me, an organized way that's easily tucked away when I have guests. And I actually have a mini office system at my uh, family's vacation home here in Utah. That's where I am right now. I'm sitting in the kitchen of our family home. It's my husband's parents' vacation home that they've had for, well, they've been coming here for over 20 years, and I think the house is about 20 years old now. Um, so I'm fortunate enough to be able to come and... Um, for vacations with my family or sometimes I just come by myself to recharge kind of get away from it all uh, so I do have a bit of a mini a kitchen office system here as well but since it's not my house and I'm very particular about I mean my in-laws are very very sweet and you know they say it's our house and it's everybody's house and of course you can do whatever you want leave whatever you want wherever you want and, but I'm just like one of those people that I just don't feel right if it's not my house leaving stuff out unless I've got, you know, unless it's for practical reasons for everybody. <laughs> uh, so I have developed a bit of a portable mini office system that um, means I can have all the things that I like to have with me when I'm eating breakfast and lunch or just like hanging around, hanging around out here in like the sort of the common areas with the family instead of being up in my loftus in my room. My loft is it's my office in a loft, in case you're wondering. I did post a whole video on that. Um, if I can find it, I'll post a link below if you guys are interested. But, you know, you gotta climb up a ladder to get up there, and there's just some things that I use every single day when I'm eating breakfast and lunch. Um, reading material, my iPad, my calendar, notepads, magazines, my daily read, my journals, my food journal, my running journal, my journal journal. I mean, it's just the list goes on and on. So, it wouldn't. I wouldn't feel right having like a little my dog when he's playing in the background. Just so you know, I wouldn't feel right just like leaving all this stuff out. So I came up with a system, a portable system for my mini kitchen office for the vacation home out here because. Um, you know, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen here just like at home and I use a lot of the same things. So if you're looking for something that's a little more portable or smaller or scaled down, um, you know, relative to what I posted last week about my own at-home system, this would be what I suggest. So I have one of my favorite baskets from, Re this is really heavy so I'm sorry, from Reasonful. I don't know how you actually pronounce it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a German, I believe, based company. I have so many, I'm sorry, my dog's playing. I have so many of their bins and baskets and just everything. I just love their products. I think they're really well made. They're very durable. They're reasonable for what you get in terms of cost. And they're attractive. So I have this sort of blue swirly pattern here, which kind of goes in this room that I'm in and also in my room. Um, when I'm not here, when I'm not at this house, I just tuck this into my closet. Easy as anything, and it just lives in there. But this has everything, I don't know if you, I'm gonna actually pick the camera up and show you guys, but this has everything in it that I use sort of on a daily basis. And what's great about it is that I just park it, so you can see that stool right there that I'm pointing at. That's where I sit where I eat most of my meals that aren't dinner. Dinner we usually eat at the table. Unless I'm by myself and then I usually eat dinner up there as well. So that's the stool where I usually sit. And I'll just leave the basket on the floor right next to it during the day. Um, unless we're having a lot of company or whatever. And then I can just pick it up and bring it down into my our room, um, you know, when I don't want it out or when I feel like it's in the way. And at night when obviously I'm not out here, I'm sleeping. So I'm going to actually show you the setup and then... Um, kind of take you through how I organize my little portable mini office <laughs> of sorts. So here's our kitchen in the Utah house, as I was showing you when I was sitting right in front of it before. I was just sitting at the table here to film that the before part. And I usually sit in this stool right here when I'm eating. 
breakfast or lunch, and when I'm here by myself, that's where I eat dinner as well. Otherwise, I sit at the table with the family for dinner. And here is my reasonable portable basket, which I have turned into a portable mini office of sorts. And if you watched my video last week, which I will link to as well, by the way, um, you'll no you'll notice that this houses a lot of the same components that the um, Tribeca large box, like that woven box from the container store that I showed in that video, has a lot of the same stuff in it. Um, because this is basically that box in a basket that's portable, more portable, because it has a handle on it. Because I tend to put this away more, much more often than the one I do at home. But I'll just take you through and kind of show you how I set it up. Um, of course, my agenda is the first thing you notice because I normally have this out all day, especially when I'm here by myself. But I like this kind of on top because it doesn't live in the bin most of the time. So I'm going to pull that out. That's my Filofax, by the way, which I also posted a video on. And I will be doing an updated look at um, this summer for the six-month mark. So... It's Utah. It's very, 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 very dry here. We're at an elevation of 5,000 feet. We're at the house here, and it, you know, we're actually in a valley. So that's that's pretty high up, and the air gets thinner, and your skin gets dry. So I have a lot of um, products for moisturizing my hands and lips, because those are the areas of my body that get the most severely affected. So I have Nivea hand cream. This is Spa Ritual Cuticle Quench Cuticle Cream. Cuta Quench, I mean. I have an EOS lip balm. I believe that's the Honeydew Melon flavor. And then a Jack Black lip balm. Because even when it's cloudy here, the sun is so much stronger than it is. Where I live in Chicago, at a sea level of about... Or at a, it's an altitude of about 500 feet where I live in Chicago. Um, as opposed to 5,000 feet here. So we're much, much closer to the sun. I have a couple of pens in here. And a couple of notepads, sticky notes, all the kind of things that I like to have anywhere um, near me when I'm going to be making lists or thinking about my day or whatever. And then I have stamps and some mail. Oops, sorry, that's the handle. And some catalogs and things that I want to go through but aren't necessarily magazines that I'm reading just for pleasure. They're things that I'm looking at for other reasons. So, for example, this is a... Um, catalog. Uh, we have a little meditation room in the basement that we're trying to furbish with stuff. So I have some things I got to order for that, some organizational catalogs and some Utah style magazines and stuff. Um, and then on this far side, I have the magazines that I have yet to read and that I usually bring about I don't know, anywhere between five and ten magazines with me because I will go through a lot of them when I'm here, uh, just having more time to read. And I have my Beach Babe Tone It Up Summer Edition, um, which is the uh, Tone It Up plan that I'm currently uh, following, for the most part, somewhat. <laughs> On this end here, I have my iPad, and then the iPad keyboard I have for it. Um, because my computer is up in our loftus, uh, and I don't have a second computer here like I do at home, um, it's hard for me to bring my computer up and down a lot. So I just use my iPad for communication a lot down here, you know, when I'm just on the main floor here, and that's why I have this keyboard out here. And then I have this stuff is probably the stuff I use the most often. So it's the magazine I'm currently reading. My uh, favorite daily read, The Simple Abundance, A Day Book of Comfort and Joy by Sarah Ben Brethnack. I read this every day. So it has a daily, you know, passage. My journal, my run journal, and this little pouch houses my food journal. So as you can see, everything's organized it's not just dumped in there so it's and it's organized in an upright fashion so it's easier for easy for me to identify the components that are in the portable mini office and to access them it's easy for me to just reach in grab what I want at that particular moment and then easy to, again to put it back away and I'm just going to take you guys with me and show you here I've picked it up and I'm walking 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 here is our room, sorry about the fuzziness, in our house here. So at night, when I want to put this away, I just leave it right there, tucked up against the wall as such. 
Um, here's our room, and you can just get a quick little glimpse. My Loftus is up there, so you can see, I don't know if you guys can see my computer. Oh no, it's shut. But it's right under where that wire owl wall thing is. Um, so that's where it just stays at night. Um, easy for me to grab in the morning. And then when we are going away, I mean we're leaving to go home, I just store it in my closet, which is right there. So it's pretty easy to tuck and stow away and access everything I need on a daily basis. I don't know what happened to the sun. The sun left. Well, anyway, that is my um, portable mini office. Uh, mini kitchen office of sorts, I guess, because I mainly use it in the kitchen, but it's portable. Oh boy, everything's making noise. It's portable, so I can really take it anywhere in the house, which I love. Um, so it's a great way to, you know, even scale down the mini office I showed last week that I have at my home, home, <laughs> at home in Chicago. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back next week with a bit of a check-in. And then I'm doing an awful lot of traveling for the next, I don't know, year. But uh, I will do my best to work on projects and keep uh, current with this channel. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Take care, you guys. Bye.